Greetings. My name is Nisim R. Lopez. I'm a 43-year-old U.S. citizen residing in Miami, Florida, and I am a targeted individual, a victim of contract stalking and mind control neuroweapons. I've been experiencing heavy, overwhelming, multi-layered organized community harassment sponsored by the authorities since January of 2011 until now, March 2019. The unjust systematic uh, harassment is designed to cause a nervous breakdown in the long run. I'm talking about negative aversive stimuli and dark neurolinguistic programming, trauma-based mind control. In other words, the intelligence community, law enforcement, and third-party contractors uh, using the civilian sector as irregular forces in asymmetrical warfare. You know, they are professionals when it comes to character assassination. Some whistleblowers from the intelligence community have stated that the command station for organized talking is the fusion centers. As far as the remote neuro-influencing technology goes, the folks in positions of power behind this program are blasting my mind every day with military technology of DARPA flavor. Uh, they're doing this uh, hoping to modify me against my will. I believe I've been implanted with some type of advanced neuro nanotechnology that enables brain to computer interface. Somehow they have linked my unique brain signature to their supercomputer. I believe that throughout uh, the years they have created a, a digital copy of my mind, a replica of my will, intellect and emotions. To this day they are, they are bombarding my psyche. Uh, with synthetic telepathy, implanting uh, artificial or natural stuff into my mind, a mind rape operation. The idea behind this is to make me believe that those are my real thoughts when they are not. This technology is so powerful that they can even use it in order to deprive you of sleep to keep you in a state of functional disorientation. This highly classified torture program you know, is it ever going to be shut down? Is it ever going to be exposed on national TV? Well, the folks behind the program, you know, one way or another, they'll find a way to justify a multi-billion dollar national security counterterrorism, uh, corporate military intelligence, uh, police state complex. Today is March 24, 2019. Thank you very much for your time.